Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to live stream a pre-recorded video on YouTube. There are many tutorials that you can find on YouTube where people explain how you can do that, but they are not very honest. Basically, these people are sponsored by some software makers who ask them to do these videos and you have to pay for it. And well, the point is that you don't need to pay anything in order to live stream a pre-recorded video to YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is to download a completely free software, which is called OBS. This software is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. So here in my case, I use the Linux version because as you can see here, I am a Linux user. I hate Windows. I don't understand why people use Windows, but anyway, uh, it should work on Windows too. So download this software and install it. All right. So now that um, the, the software is already installed on my computer, so here it is. And we are going to live stream a video on my YouTube channel just to show how it works. So let me go to my YouTube channel. Let me connect to it. Blue Moonshine, that's my channel. There we are. And here, content. This is my list of videos and here my live videos. I have only three. So we are going to create a new one. All right. So let us see how to do that. Before I show you how to do it, let me just ask you to subscribe to my channel. I'm not getting anything from making these videos, it's really time consuming for me. So the, the only thing I'm asking you is to subscribe to my channel. And you will actually find probably many things that you, you like on my channel. Uh, well, if you are watching this video, that's the proof that there's something on my channel that is interesting you. So please register to my channel, it's very important for me. And give a like to this video. Uh, also, uh, amongst the many things that you can find on my YouTube channel, you will find, for example, how to make flash cotton. It's really fun and it's easy to do. So um, that that is something that may be of interest to you. Another thing is that I have a tutorial in which I explain how to make nitric acid at home from household items. And in this video, uh, model Aspen Angel is assisting me. She's really pretty, so I'm sure you can enjoy watching this video. And I also show how to make nitroglycerin at home. It's very fun and very dangerous. So please check my videos. I'm sure there's something that is of interest for you. All right, so now let me show you how to live stream on YouTube. So as I said, we are going to add here a pre-recorded video that will appear as a live stream. So how to do that? Well, when you run the software for the very first time, it will, uh, let me do it. Uh, it will ask you for some, um, uh, to configure it. And I actually don't know anything about that software. So I simply used the automatic configuration. So let me do it again. So optimize for streaming recording is secondary. I don't even know which option, which option is best, but it works for me. So let me do it. All right. So just, if you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, just use the default, um, settings, uh, for service, you will have to select YouTube or TNPS. Okay, and also you will have to connect to your account. So just follow the instructions so that you can connect to your YouTube channel.
So now it is checking the um, uh, which settings are best depending on your computer and also on your connection. So for this to work, you need to have a pretty good connection. Uh, my wireless is not wonderful, but it, it works uh, good enough. I guess it's even better if you can directly connect with an Ethernet cable. Okay. So let us wait for this uh, test to be done. It's not very long. All right, and now just apply settings. Done. So now let's say that I have, uh, let me look here in my recorded, pre-recorded videos. Uh, let me go here, clips, and let's say that I want to live stream my video logo, all right? So this is the, the the video logo that I use for all my uploaded videos. So let us say that I want to live stream this. So how to do that? Uh, you are going to go to source and click on the plus and then select VLC video, video source, or maybe media source. Well, let, let's try this. I don't know what the difference is. Once again, I have no clue what I'm doing with this software, but it works. So let's do it. Uh, no, I'm going to do what I did before. So uh, I'm going to do VLC video source. Create new. Okay. Uh, here um, you may select uh, this if you want the, the video to play in a loop. Um, so click on the plus sign and select add files. And then you select the pre-recorded video that you want to live to live stream. So here, this is it. Okay. All right. Now there is no sound when it's played like this. Uh, earlier I was able to get the sound, but the point is that once it's live streamed, you will have the sound. Okay. You can resize this thing. You can live stream several things at the same time, but I don't know yet how to do that. So let me just do the simplest thing I can do, just live streaming a pre-recorded video. So uh, let me stop it right now. Uh, now, all you have to do is to start streaming. It says you need to set up a broadcast. Okay, manage broadcast. All right, and here, this will be the title of your video. So let me just call it test. Enter the description that you want. Okay. And as usual on YouTube, you can select whether you want your video to be public, unlisted or private. Here, I don't want to bother my subscribers with this test. So I'm simply going to put it as unlisted. Okay. And it's always a good idea because you can check that everything is fine. And then once it looks as you want, you can change the setting and put it as public. Okay, but for now, let me just put it as unlisted. Not made for kids. Select a thumbnail if you want. Uh, I won't do it here, so it will select one at random. You can always change this later. Um, yes, category, well, let's say that it's a small film. And well, use the settings that you want, okay? So once you are happy with your uh, settings here, just create broadcast and start streaming. And now uh, it's streaming, so let me play the video logo, the pre-recorded video. And right now it is live streaming it with the sound. Okay, so let us wait for it to be over. And yes, here it's looping because I set it uh, to do that. But you're not forced to loop the video. So, okay, that's enough for our test. So let me just uh, stop streaming. Okay. And now let us see 
on YouTube. Let me refresh. And it's streaming live. Now, if you wait a few seconds, it will be uh, it will remove the live, and the video and people who miss the video they will be able to review the video anytime they want, as if it was a real live video. So uh, let let us go take a look at it. And here, since it's a live, it's still a live stream. <laughs> As you can see, there is the sound, it's working. And well, here my connection is not very good. I'm a little bit far from my router, so that's why it's a little bit chopped. But uh, if you have a good connection, it works perfectly. So now if we update, it probably removed the live, yes. So now it appears as these other videos. And of course, you can watch it again. View on YouTube. And it works perfectly well so I hope that you liked this video please give it a thumb up and I would appreciate if you can share it on your social network and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching